All right, welcome everyone. This is Dr. Clark, and today we're going to be going through a high intensity exercise program. It's only 20 minutes. You can do anything for 20 minutes, right? And this is for those of you that are short on time, you want a nice, intense workout, get it out of the way, check that box off, so to speak, and get on with the rest of your day. So this is just 20 minutes. It's actually just nine exercises. You do them for one minute, and actually you'll start the exercise on the minute. And since this is high intensity interval training, you'll do kind of high intensity exercise for a percentage of that minute, then you're gonna rest. On the video, I do the exercise for 40 seconds and then rest for 20 seconds. That's pretty intense. You may wanna start out just the opposite and do the exercise for 20 seconds and then rest for 40 seconds. And as you move up, then 30 seconds, 30 seconds. But eventually you wanna be mainly doing the exercise, resting just a short period of time, and with this high intensity interval training, what you're doing is driving your heart rate up so that you get near max. I've talked about heart rate max, it's 220 minus your age, you can kind of figure out that uh, for yourself, but you wanna get up near max. That's where you're really have to, working really hard and you get the most fitness benefits when you can drive your heart rate up there. So that's where you're going. But for those of you not starting there, again, just kind of slowly get into this. So what I'm gonna do now is just show you kind of what the exercises are, and then I'll also show you a way to do them with lower intensity. So if you're just starting out, so that literally anybody can do this program and it can work for the most fit and it can work for the least fit. All right, so let's get started on going through where the where you are there. We're gonna walk through the different exercises. Now, I do encourage people to make sure you're wearing your heart rate monitor. That's one of the best fitness piece of equipment you can have. Speaking of equipment, basically you don't need any equipment. So it's based resistance training because you're using body weight, but it's also cardio because you're getting your heart rate up. So I do have a mat here that I like to protect my knees and sometimes my hands if I'm doing push-ups, but you don't actually need any of these things. I also have a little step up there, and it's because when I'm doing um, certain exercise, my knees don't bend quite as well as they used to 20 years ago. And if yours are like that too, again, I'll show you how to do those step-down versions of these things. But there's only nine different exercises. We're gonna go through nine exercises and then we do them in reverse. We take a little rest in the halfway in between and then there's one final bonus exercise too. Gets us up to 20 minutes and you are done. So you get it, you hit it, you're done. All right, make sure you do warm up for about five minutes beforehand as well as cool down and stretch when we're all done. So I'm assuming you've already done that, but let's go ahead and get started kind of showing you what the different exercises are. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out with just running in place. Well, just as it sounds, if you're running in place, basically that's all you're doing. Now, as you go through the exercise, you're going to be doing this very intensely, but you can start out very slow. And you may just want to start out with walking in place, kind of lift those knees up, but do what you can do. And you want to kind of move those arms, move those legs. All right, that's number one. All right, so anybody can do that, right? All right, second exercise is what I refer to as shadow boxing. Shadow boxing, it's not just throwing your arms out there. Basically, it's really coming around of sh correct shadow boxing. What you're doing is you're really engaging your core. Your core there is because you're going to kind of come from here. You want each side. So it's really engaging your core so you get your knees a little bit loose, separated, so you've got good balance there. And and this is what we're doing for a minute. And when you're getting better at it, you're doing it all out but it's coming from here, it's coming from here. It's not just your arm, this isn't it. It's a way to start, and that's what you can do to start, it's just kind of slowly do this, but you're really, you should feel your core engage with that, and eventually it's gonna really, it's a core move here. Many of these moves are core moves. All right, next one is balance planks, and this is where I'm gonna use my little mat. Again, if you got one, great, use it. Now, planks are basically you're down and you're in a kind of a push-up position on your knee on your, your knees, your elbows. So you get down kind of in this. You can do a plank here. This is also a plank. I do them from here. And you're going to do balance planks. Now you can just do this for a minute. For those of you just starting, go down on your knees. 
but you want that nice um, straight back. You don't want your butt way up in the air. You don't want your butt swinging way down. And then for this, on the exercise routine, I'm doing balance planks. So I'm reaching up, coming back, switching. This is not a speed exercise. This is a slow exercise. Slow and methodical. Again, this is core. You're feeling this all along your core. But you can start out with just the plank part of the whole thing. Go to your knees. So that's number three. Fourth exercise is jump squats. And just like it sounds, it's jumping, it's squatting. It's all you're doing. So what you're doing, get a nice, platform near you're nice and balanced and you're going down into a squat. This is the and go as far as you can go. Use your hands for balance. If you need to, set a chair next to you. Use the chair for balance. Or if you need the just that and if you're unsteady, put two chairs next to you for balance. It'll help you. But you want to kind of sit back, almost like you're sitting on a chair. You could actually put a chair behind you so that you can sit down. Now, my knees don't quite go as far as they used to. But that's all you're doing. And eventually, you're jumping too. So you're going down. All right, so that's the fourth exercise. I'm already getting windy. You haven't even started. Five, fifth exercise is moving push-ups. Everyone knows what a push-up is. And basically, you can do it, if you're not ready for push-ups, you can do them against stairs, a chair, which will lift you up, but you can do them just against the wall. Push-up. Anybody can do that. Move closer, it's easy. Move further away. We're going to do the real deal here. So they're moving push ups. So, what I'm doing is doing a push up and then I'm moving. I just step back and forth. Again, this is a core move, works your entire body. Not quite there? All right, well then. Go to your knees. Don't move as far. All right, so that's your fifth move. Sixth move is leap lunges. So leap lunges, basically a lunge is this. And that's leaping lunge. Go slow so you get your balance as you get better, then really speed up. Now, a good way to start is what's referred to as step back lunges. Switch sides. Again, you can get that chair on either side for balance. Slowly to start. All right, very good. So, that's a sixth one. Seventh one is kind of what I refer to as a recover exercise, and that's loading docks. Loading docks is pretending you're reaching down to pick something up and handing it up onto the loading dock. And halfway through, switch to the other side. Now, just starting out, reach down to your knee, reach up to your shoulder, knee, Shoulder. It's a core exercise. It's here, here, down to your ankle, up top, and reach. Get a good twist through there. All right. Eighth one is the tough one. That's burpees. You don't know what burpees are. You've probably seen them. You may remember them in your youth as squat thrust. And this is where I use the platforms. My knees don't quite bend. But here's a burpee and I jump at the end. There are lots of different ways to do burpees. It's just one. I do a push up and a jump. But you can do anything. Meaning, 
down, step back, step up, stand up. You can leave out the jump, you can leave out the push up. Or you can go the full thing. Next one, ninth one, mountain climbers. Now mountain climbers you can do from plank position. These are upright mountain climbers. And basically you're reaching, you're climbing a mountain. So you can do this way. Or you can run it too. But you're reached way up. This is the intense version. But you can do the step back version. So that's the ninth one. So you go one through nine, then you're going to go back, nine through one, and then finally we're going to finish up with a little bonus move to get us to 20 minutes, which is what I refer to as plyo push-ups, which you can do from a wall again if you're not there yet, and it's just pushing up. Step back a little harder. Just don't hit yourself enough. So there you are. From your knees, same type of move. There you go. We're going to do this for a minute just to finish us off. Again, monitor your heart rate. But here you are. Nine moves, bonus move at the end, and you're done. Exercise finito. You're done. You've hit it, and it's a great one. Remember to warm or cool down when you're all done and do some stretching. Well, there you are, a 20-minute workout, warm up ahead of time, 20 minutes hard, 5-minute cool down, you're done. You can find the time to do this sometime during your day. Great intense workout, go for it.